All right, so I'm um, here for another um, unboxing and um, instead of install this time, it'll be putting together a uh, Snow Joe 24 inch cordless snowblower. Um, came with two batteries, 100 volt, five amp hours. That's the charging pack, so massive batteries. Um, I already opened the box just to get out some the instructions and the batteries. Um, but this is how it comes and sorry about the lighting but you can kind of see um, it's not all the way put together obviously so I'm gonna get it unboxed so you can see all the parts and then uh, we'll look at putting it together okay um, so here it is unboxed um, the first step is actually to, to pick up this, this kind of back part and attach it um, but you have to have the bolts and stuff and couldn't find those but uh, they actually put them into the battery compartment so you can see how massive the batteries are going to be bolts and everything are in here so then you're going to need the four handle bolts and they just have the knobs on them um, they give you a couple wrenches which is kind of nice and then you're going to lift the handle portion and spread it out wide so that it pops in. And then you'll take your bolt. I like to take just one or two. And based on how tall you are, you're going to put the bolt through at the correct hole. I'm fairly tall, so I'm gonna put this up at the highest it can go. From the inside, in the correct direction. There we go, and I'm gonna put one on the other side just to help hold it before I start tightening that one down. There are four, but just to kind of get it set up. get one on each side. Tighten that handle down. I'm not going to go all the way tight to begin with just so I can get all four of them in. I've got a little play. And then you'll grab your other two. Put them through the top hole. So you basically have two options, up all the way or down. It only gives you about an inch difference, but it is nice that they at least give you a little bit of an option. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these tightened down all the way, and then we'll look at attaching the chute part. Okay, so the handle's all on, and so now we're gonna put the chute on. So, just comes up uh, pretty simple, straightforward. I'm just gonna set the plastic directly onto what's already there and then on our metal support piece it's got a bar kind of back here on the back um, to help with this difference on the plastic so there's a little extra metal piece there so that's just gonna help that line up better and then two bolts so first one on the top gonna kind of get it hand started not too far so I can get the bottom one on easily enough. And then I'm gonna hand tighten those as far as they'll go. And then they provide you uh, two wrenches and you're gonna need the uh, 12 millimeter to do this part. But I'm gonna hand tighten as far as I can first just to save time. And then I'll switch and start using the wrench. Um, like I said, they provide it for you. 12 millimeters if you want to um, use your own. That's great, or a ratchet set would be even better. Um, but I figured I'd go ahead and assemble it using the tools they provided, um, just for those people who don't have their own set of wrenches or ratchets. So we'll get this tightened down 
and then uh, see how it fires up. Okay, so here it is all assembled and just wanted to show you kind of the controls here. I went ahead and installed the batteries. You can see two massive batteries. You just drop them straight in there and then these two clips are so you can pick it back out. They have a handle on them um, and a cool thing just about the batteries, a little extra. They do have two USB ports and a flashlight um, on them. So kind of extra camping battery type of thing. But to actually run it, the right hand side is going to be for your wheels to go and your speed on the wheels. Okay, kind of shows you that. So currently have it on the rabbit, turtle, um, faster and slower. This is for your auger and it's got a dual stage so you don't accidentally like do it in my garage here and mess up my concrete. If you just try to pull this, nothing happens. So you've got to do the brake and then pull it down. Um, the auger has a, a max and min speed, goes in between. There's uh, two buttons here. There we go. Uh, light. So if I turn that on, that does the LED lights. And then the second button is your reverse. Uh, the last thing, this large handle is your shoot control. And so kind of two things here. If you press the button, and pull, it's going to raise the chute. So I'm going to press the button and pull. You can see the chute goes up. And if I push, okay, the chute goes down. Um, it is pretty tough to push, um, which is why you saw it kind of rolling as I was doing it. And then the other part of that is as you move it forward and backwards, that will change the direction of the chute. And so again, that's kind of tough to push, especially one-handed. So I'll show you that in just a second. So to do the shoot adjustment, to turn it, kind of get a second grip on here, and then I can give this a little harder push, and you can see that flips around really easily um, once you've got your second hand on it, or if there was snow, something to resist it. Um, and then there's the kind of up and down of that chute as well. So for the speed, um, I've got it on turtle and slow auger, and so I'll just kind of lift it and show you the speed on the on the wheels. So I'm gonna start out real slow and then get a little faster as they go. All right, and then I'll switch that to the rabbit, and same kind of thing. It starts out pretty slow, lets your snow get up to speed, and then it goes quite a bit faster. So, and that's to make sure that your auger is going and you're shooting the snow out so you don't just jump straight into a, a fast start. So then the auger on the front, I've got it on the minimum currently. So I push the lock up, squeeze that handle. And then if I go to the max speed, you can see kind of the difference here. And it does have a, a built-in brake, so when you let that go, it stops quickly. So if you were to hit something, um, I also like that they give you a nice heavy-duty um, plastic, but heavy-duty to clean out that auger if you get some ice chunks in there. So that's the Snow Joe 100-volt, um, 2-battery, 5-amp-hour. <clears throat> and all the kind of features and how to put it together. Um, so thanks for watching and hope that it helps you kind of get set up and get ready for snow.